The Natural Robotics Lab was founded here in Sheffield in 2010. We look at robots and you can think of a robot as a model of a living being. So you can, you can study a robotic system to understand more how the living beings work, how nature works, but also the other way around. You can learn from nature to build the next generation of robotics. I'm still in the early stages of my PhD, which means I'm still trying to decide exactly which avenue of research I'd like to pursue. But my overall goal was inspired by watching a David Attenborough documentary a couple of years ago about ants in the Jira Mountains. I found it really interesting to see how each individual insect can be very unintelligent, but together the colony can display amazing behaviours. So I'm hoping to try and implement similar uh, ant-inspired behaviours on modular robotic systems. We have three main research areas in the Natural Robotics Lab. The first one is modular robotics. A modular robot has many building blocks that can be connected like Lego in many different ways. Some of our modular robots can even change their configuration just on their own. We developed a range of systems that operate in environments such as in the water, on the ground, or even in space-like environments. The second research area is that of swarm robotics. Here the idea is, if you look at one individual, it actually processes very little information on its own. But yet, the swarm as a whole can solve very complex tasks. And this design paradigm may pave the way in the future for novel applications such as nanomedicine. My PhD studies is about developing minimalist control strategies for swarm robotic tasks. And one of these tasks is particularly called decision making. I developed the simplest solution for decision making problem in the field up to date. The robots only extracted one threat of information from their environment and they did not need to communicate. With this able to demonstrate this task with the physical robotic platform, I learned a lot more from what I would actually learn from a computer simulation study. The third research area is that of machine learning. And here we are interested to learn the behavior of agents either through observing them or through interacting with them. We developed a method called Turing learning that can do this not just for robots, like swarms of robots, but also for animals or even groups of people. I did my PhD in Spain in localization and navigation in dynamic environments, both outdoors and indoors. And now I'm a postdoc researching the literature in multi-robot systems to analyze which developments have been performed so far and which future barriers and potentials are for any multi-robot systems to have an impact in society. We are an amazing group of undergraduates, masters, doctoral students, visitors and postdocs. A bit like in a swarm, everyone has their own task, yet they engage in collaborations across the group. And it's exciting to observe this exchange in skills and exchange in expertise. I'm looking forward to our next discoveries.